This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Hey, dear friends, it's me, Bullet Bob, from Bullet Bob's Ammo Hot Out there on Route 33. Folks, are you having a hard time finding enough bullets? You're not the only ones. Just listen to Congressman Frank Lucas. My constituents have been telling me for a year they cannot buy ammunition in the regular retail stores. That's right, folks. There's a severe ammo shortage because the federal government is buying up all the bullets. You saw it on the blogs. You read it on the drudge. You heard it on the fox. Is this a conspiracy to buy up all the bullets so they're not available to us? Of course it is. Listen to Frank Lucas. Is this a conspiracy to buy up all the bullets so they're not available to us? I don't know. That proves it. I don't but here know. at Bullet Bob's <laughs> Ammo Hut, we don't sell the government agents, so we still have enough bullets for all your needs. Just listen to this satisfied customer. Yeah, I had 30,000 rounds of ammo, and it mysteriously disappeared when I shot at it stuff. But Bullet Bob, he sold me 30,000 new rounds. <laughs> And I'm good for the weekend. Watch out stop signs. <laughs> so come on down, folks, to Bullet Bobs. The only shortage we have is in background checks. <laughs> in fact, we got a special this week only buy 10,000 rounds and get a free fish farm. I'll explain how it works when you get here. It's crazy to shop anywhere else, but it's really crazy to shop here. Bullet Bobs Ammo Hut out here on Route 33 in the same strip mall with Alex Jones, false flags and banners. <laughs> oh my god the country has gone mad uh it's just it, it, this it's an amazing thing it's an amazing freaking thing and of course when you use your media outlets to do nothing but preach intolerance this is what you get you get a bunch of lunatics voting for even crazier people and then we stall because, you know, uh, uh, we were robbed and uh, we can't recover because nobody can do anything because the president believes uh, that it might be a good thing to do. It's the most ridiculous way to run a country I've ever heard of in my life, in my life. You know, the, the irony of it all was that in 1999, there was a bill in the House of Representatives to expand background checks at gun shows. It was endorsed by the NRA, and it had overwhelming support among Republicans. I voted for it. Most Republican members of the House voted for it. And, and so when, when, I, when I think about what we actually did, when I think about the legislation from 1999, when I think about where we are, I really thought this was a sensible uh, area that we ought to be able to reach a consensus. I think in the end we didn't because our politics have become so polarized. Oh. And there are people on my side who didn't want to be perceived to be helping something that the president wants to accomplish simply because it's the president who wants to accomplish it. There's a Republican from Pennsylvania, Pat Toomey, who, by the way, because he uh, was the co-sponsor with Joe Manchin on the background check bill, his popularity has soared. He has gone through the roof. Democrats say that they vote for Pat Toomey because this issue was so important to them, even though they have background checks in Pennsylvania. They just thought that, you know, this was a brave, courageous and the right thing to do. So people will cross party lines for people who do the right thing. And that is when 88 percent of the American people, including 86 percent of the Republicans and 95 percent of the Democrats and 83 percent of the independents all agree that they want this thing done. Whoever says I will sponsor the legislation that gets that thing done gets a bona fide bounce. But that freaks out the right wing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So we have to double down on the propaganda and the hatred and the intolerance, even for people who lost their children.